Missing documents, hundreds of millions in overpayments, and the likelihood of fraud. Those were the surprising developments at a city hall meeting this afternoon. A city audit of city contracts is raising huge red flags. And as Peter Ackman reports, this investigation has not only uncovered systematic poor business practices at the city, but also the possibility of criminal activity. For many, the new Calgary Peace Bridge is a shining example of the way the city regularly hands out cash to one company and without any competition. The $25 million structure is just one of hundreds of single sourced contracts that are now being investigated. Some of the current policies that are in place were not followed. A new procurement or purchasing audit looking into hundreds of city contracts discovered that more than 50 percent were being given out without any competition. When there aren't policies, there aren't procedures, there's absolutely zero reporting to council and audit committee around the whole procurement function. And when it came time to pay, the audit found of 740 jobs, all of them went over budget, many by as much as 200 percent without any questions asked costing taxpayers nearly three quarters of a billion dollars. It's about accountability and transparency and cost control. They're all lacking uh, it to some degree and, and we need to have policies put in place that will deal with that. But the city auditor says it could be bigger than that. She believes some of the deals could be fraudulent, although right now she isn't saying how it could have happened. We have a number of allegations received about the city's procurement practices and they are at various stages of investigation and assessment and I can't comment further on the details. And that investigation won't end at City Hall. McTaggart says if deemed criminal, those cases will be forwarded to police. The Canadian Taxpayer Federation says someone other than the taxpayers needs to pay. This is serious, serious business. This is a lot of taxpayer money at, uh, at stake and uh, needs to make sure people need to feel confident that uh, their money is being spent wisely. With such a lack of transparency, the Canadian Taxpayer Federation is calling for a complete city audit going back five years. Now, just to put that into context, each year it's estimated that there are more than 46,000 purchase orders totaling more than $1.35 billion. But when asked, the city auditor says she just doesn't have the resources to do that. Peter Ackman, CBC News, Calgary.